get that CC. Profile on the spiral we put on those. These things are shooting. The lower profile vein weighs just a touch less than this higher profile vein. So at 50 yards, they're very close. Dequetch test. That's pretty good. Just another, another good group of these arrows. The reflection, I'm sure, made a difference. A pretty good group. There you go. Another one. Yeah, I'm liking these veins. We're gonna go fletch more up. Setting up your Bixenberger jig. You got the back setting even. And the front setting's over just a little so you can just see it. That'd be good at indicators right about. So I'm at about 3 degrees here. And that's how the bottom set. When you set the veins in, is don't set them in all the way. Do it like 80%, 90%, and then slide it in. You kind of take the clamp, pick up on it like this, create a little bit of a gap, and you can slide it back on. Just kind of work it back on again like that. And if you, you need to make sure you support it so it doesn't shift out of the knock receiver. That's just really good. It seems to just drop right in. We're super forgiving now with these veins. It's like wherever the pin is, that's where it hits. That was a good shot. That was 50 yards. But it just goes wherever the pin's at. Yeah, these are highly recommended. Your accuracy and groups will improve. Especially if you do about a three degree or at least a two and a half degree offset with a Bitsenberger helical. That seems to be a great setup.